What is up guys, it's Ravneet back with another video. Today, let's go over the scouting footage of Denzel Valentine. He's a 6'6 shooting guard from Michigan State with a 6'11 wingspan. He's one of the best passing shooting guards we've seen coming out of college. Denzel averaged about 19 points, 8 assists, and 7 boards per game. First, let's examine his offense, and then his defense. Valentine has solid shooting mechanics, and a fairly quick release. Adjusting to the NBA 3-point line shouldn't be too difficult for him. Each year, he's improved shooting the ball. His quick release allows him to shoot the ball well coming off screens. When he didn't have the ball in his hands, he made sure to move around and get open. Denzel doesn't shoot well off the dribble. He's not that quick, and he doesn't have the handles to get himself open. His shot selection can improve as well. Sometimes he shoots too early in the shot clock and when he's well defended. He makes up his mind that he's going to shoot, even though it's not the best decision. Here you can see that Valentine shot better from the perimeter and he shot better from distance than from the mid-range. And more than half of his shots came from distance. 32% of his shots came from the mid-range, and only 15% of his shots came at the basket. But he wasn't bad shooting at the rim either. He made 60% of his shots at the basket, and a lot of them were floaters. It was one of his favorite shots, and he was able to make them on the move. However, he wasn't quick enough to get past most defenders, so he wasn't able to get all the way to the basket. Hence, he would resort to his floater too often and take wild shots. Denzel was able to score in transition when he had momentum. but he was better at passing the ball in the fast break. He always kept his head up and was able to hit the open man on the move. Valentine was one of the best passers in college basketball last year. He averaged the fourth most assists last year with 7.8 assists per game. He was good at driving and kicking the ball out He was also able to find the big man under the basket after attacking the paint. He had about 3 turnovers per game, so he could do a better job of taking care of the ball. He sometimes would decide to pass the ball before seeing if his teammates were actually open. Denzel's ball handling can still improve. He would dribble the ball too high at times, 
and struggled protecting the ball against double teams. Valentine was essentially Michigan State's point guard last year, and he did well in the pick and roll. He can hit his man if they roll to the basket or pop out. He didn't attack the paint as much in the pick and roll, but he was able to do so when he had an open lane. But Denzel was better at shooting in the pick and roll. He grabbed about 7.5 rebounds per game, which is quite impressive for a guard. He's not very athletic, so he got most of his boards by just hustling for the ball after a miss. Valentine has a 6 foot 11 wingspan, so he has good length for his position. He's able to bother some shots as a result. But his reaction time is slow. Here, he gets a hand up too late, and he doesn't jump to contest the shot. And sometimes he wouldn't even get a hand up. Denzel also lacks the proper foot speed to keep up with quick players. He's not able to slide his feet well, and teams constantly attack him in the pick and roll. Players were also not afraid to attack him head on because Denzel wasn't able to hold his ground. Valentine was one of the best and most exciting players in college basketball this year. His strengths are her shooting, passing, and rebounding. His passing won't translate as well since he won't be the primary ball handler like he was at Michigan State. His shooting alone should get him drafted in the top 20, and maybe in the top 15. But his defense worries me, and it's hard seeing him get better on that end. His team at the next level should try to use him in the pick and roll at times, and ask him to come off screens as much as possible. I hope you guys enjoyed this draft series, and thank you all for the support. Follow me at Twitter at Revneet25 for future updates. And make sure to check out my big board and mock draft in the description below. Thanks for watching and enjoy the draft.